Hello, everybody. Welcome to episode 34 of the Monday Night Wars. Yes, it's me. I know I sound different. It's not Chad here. It's me, J Mac. I'm here to host the Monday Night Raw while uh, Chad's away, unfortunately. Chad has unfortunately caught a disease. A very bad one, a very bad disease. It's called being a pussy. <laughs> And let's start the show. We're starting. Uh, are you flushing the toilet for real? He's in the bathroom. I'm, uh, late for recording. Late for the sh the, the show. He's he's in the he's in the pisser right now. I'm out now. <laughs> I heard that, bitch. Sit down. I will knee. I'll kneel. I don't want you to hurt your bum-ass knees. My knees are strong. Well, I didn't even get to talk about metal. Sadamore and Kana had a match. Uh, Adam Pierce and Balls Mahoney going one-on-one, -on -one, Chad. And Balls Mahoney beats Adam Pierce. With a Michinoku driver. Balls can go. He's, he's a good in-ring guy. Yeah, Balls can go. All right, Chad. This segment right here is a segment between Vince McMahon... Uh, detailing the potential injury to Kishi that was... Oh, God, i got to stop playing with this. What is... The potential injury laid out to Kishi by the hands of Brock Lesnar. And it seems like Brock Lesnar wanted just to injure Kishi so he would be rewarded the championship. And Vince McMahon has nothing else to left to do but other than to say if Kishi can't make it to the pay-per-view, I have to reward... Barack Lesnar with the belt. Huh. But, and then Kurt Angle comes out. And Kurt's like, well, Vince, Vince, pick me, pick me. No, he's not like that. He's not a bitch. And he's like, well, well, Vince, I'm the number one contender. If Kishi can't make it, how about you just put me in his match instead for the vacated title? It could be Brock Lesnar, Kurt Angle if Kishi can't make it. And Vince likes that idea, Chad. And Vince is like, well... It looks like you're on standby, Kurt Angle. If Kishi can't make it, if he can't make it to the last man standing at Judgment Day, it'll be Brock Lesnar versus Kurt Angle for the title. Hopefully he can't. I want Kishi there. Is that another open challenge? Yeah, another open challenge. All right, everyone. Oh, look at the time. Let me just check my watch. Oh, look at that. It's half past Chad Collier o'clock, bitches. It's time for the world's greatest European champion of all time to grace you all at Madison Square Garden with his presence. And I'll tell you what. I got a garden planted right now, and the only thing planted is my seed of greatness because I am the rat king, and we have our ourselves another open challenge and I can't wait to see which sorry sap decides to step in the rat trap tonight. I don't even remember who I put him in. Well I guess we'll all be surprised, won't we? Yeah. Let's see Justin who it was. gets done tearing apart his mic stand. Let's who let's see who it was, John. Let's see who it was. Oh the oh, Alex Skipper. Alex Skipper. Yeah. Yeah. Chad got a 91. Yeah, I did. I'm the best. Uh, the performance of Chad Collier stood out being good. Uh, Chad benefited from having a hot new move. Mm. And it got the crowd buzzing. A good win for Chad Collier over uh, over Elix Skipper. Um, but unfortunately, someone's music hits after uh, Chad Collier's win. It's been a, it's been a little bit um, since we've heard this music, Chad. Okay. Maybe a couple weeks. Maybe not that long. Maybe since SummerSlam. But do you know who it is? Is it that rat big rig fig? No, 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 okay, no. Good. Maybe well, you have then... to go down memory lane. Uh -huh. Lenny Lane comes out and blindsides Chad Collier. Yeah. Cheater. The cheater? That cheater. What do you mean the cheater? You attack me from behind. Chad, That's what do you slime mean? ball. Like, coming from you? That's slime ball. I can't believe we do that. Unbelievable, Chad. Whatever happened to playing fair? <laughs> Get out of my face. <laughs> Dean Malenko goes backstage to apologize to Brian Danielson, and Brian Danielson yeah, shuts... Sorry my friend stabbed you in the head with a fork. Yeah. He's, he shuts it down. He's like, I don't want an apology. I don't want... Your words won't mean nothing to me. You know, I'm a, I, I'm a, I'm a fighter. I'm a wrestler. The only apology I want is in the middle of the ring. I want you at Judgment Day, Dean Malenko. You have to, you have to deal with what Nick Gage did to me. And he's still going to fork in his head. 
<laughs> you can't get the fork out, Chad. You can't get the fork out. Damn. Sit down. You're stressing me out. Well, I'm stressing you out. I'm no, because I can't turn. And I'm like, because your big, oh your, your face is right there. And it's, it's, I, now I can go like this. All right. All right. Thank can, God. Yeah. All right. Well, before that happened, Nick Age and Necro Butcher happened, Chad. Oh, and he hit him with my favorite move. What was your favorite move? Stab stabbed him in the head with a fork. No, I hit him with a pinfall. Oh. Nick Age wins in 944. He stabbed him in the head with a fork. Um, it was a hardcore match. Um, and they have pretty good chemistry. Nice. Necro Butcher and Nick, Nick Age, 58s and 66s. Is that good? I mean, it's not great, but it's not terrible. Mike Tyson and Randy Orton have... St- have entered. Uh, we, we have a we have a, a, a cool produced promo segment right here nice. of Mike Tyson and Randy Orton uh, entering a taxi cab. Okay. In a in a rainy as a nighttime and it's rainy. Ooh. I wonder where they're going. I wonder where they're going. Uh, Ace Steel and CM Punk are here, Chad, and nice. I don't remember what was supposed to happen here. <laughs> they're here though. They're here. They, you know what? And the whole thing was them pull up through a car. Roll on the window and say, hi, <laughs> we're here. Ah, yes, the Bashams uh, taking on the Rock and Roll Express. These guys look old as hell. That man <laughs> literally looks like a superintendent. Yeah, <laughs> Rick Martell and, uh, and, and, and Robert Hall. Gibson at this point. <laughs> the Bashams will defeat the legendary team of the Rock and Roll Express in 745 when Danny Basham hits a pile driver on big old Robert Gibson. Yeah, look at that. They have great, chemi- excellent chemistry together. Got a 34. And then Sean Devari is backstage, and he wants, he's demanding a match. It's been too long for Sean Devari to be in the ring, you know. And Tom Pritchard said, anyone who wants to step in the ring can get the exact same treatment Don Fry did. And they, they show a body bag oh, no. of presumably Don Fry's corpse. Jesus. <laughs> this is getting dark. I don't like this. <laughs> what do you mean? It's getting dark. It's spice it up. Oh. The Undertaker to visit Don Fry. <laughs> and he defeats Justin Winston, Chad. Oh, no. Justin Winston. This going to stink. With a magic carpet ride. A it's a, it's a, a go-home show, Chad. True. <laughs> uh, Scott Vick. Are they playing Monopoly today? Uh, who, do you remember who? Oh, Scott Studd that brew on the table, right? Yeah. yeah. Major Stash and Scott, St- uh, Scott Vick walk into uh, Scott Studd's locker room, and they said, buddy, we apologize. We um, should call him Sick Vic. And they're like, do you want to play another game? And they pull out the game behind them, and it's sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and Scott Stud slaps the box out of me. I don't want to play games anymore. We came out here to be the best tag team in, w- uh, in WWF, and we're, we're playing children. That we're playing Hasbro games, all right? <laughs> this is stupid. Scott, I, I don't. You might be. You guys might be happy collecting a paycheck, doing absolutely nothing. But I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. No pun intended. This is Scott's done. Oh, dumbass. Pay attention to the storyline. They're both named Scott. You should change it. It's Scott Stud and Scott Vic. He'd be sick, Vic. Okay, and then he and he walks out of the room frustrated. That you know he's not being booked anymore. Mm-hmm. Makes sense. Uh, Stavik and Davy Boy are here, Jen. Ooh. And, St- and Stasiak pins him with an inverted DDT. Uh, during the match, we saw a spot where Stasiak hit uh, Davy Boy with an, uh, a delayed suplex. Yeah. And then pulled out a mirror from his jocks and looked at himself like this while holding the <laughs> suplex. I like that. That's funny. And boom. I like that. We move on. Oh, man, I forgot this. I forgot to book this promo to book this match. Lesnar and Henry, Chad. Ooh. Uh, yeah, this match happened. Forgot to book the angle of, that um, led to this matchup happening tonight. But it's okay. Uh, Edge, Christian, and PJ Black. This was announced on WWF.com earlier tonight at 1 o'clock this afternoon. Edge, Christian, and PJ Black go three on three against Dynamo and The Rock, Chad, mm. tonight. It's a big main event. Big main event. They're getting ready backstage. I saved the show. Yeah. Toshi Uwansu defeats Chigasa Nagua. Nagayo. Sorry, Nagu. Both those women can work. Both those women can work, but you know the game. Not liking pre-show workers here. Yeah. Unbelievable. Sexist. And our main event of the night in a quick Raw tonight. <laughs> PJ Black Edge, Christian Cage defeat The Rock, Jushin Liger, and Kaiji Muto. A big win for the champs over the challengers. Will this be the, 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 the showcase? Is this what's going to happen at the pay-per-view, Chad? You could. 
Could be. I don't as, think so, though. As we go off the air, we go back to a taxi cab leaving, dropping off Randy Orton and Mike Tyson. And they're, they're standing outside Kishi's house. Oh, no. Is that, is that, and that's how we end the show. Oh, God. <laughs> 92. 92. They're going to go kill Kishi. They're going to try to kill Kishi. They're going to go kill Kishi, Chad. Jesus. That's how we end Raw. Wow. A little bit of spiciness here. I, I love WWE. that. I like that ending. Yeah. I like that. Good job. All right. We'll see you for Nitro. And we are here with the Go Home Nitro. That's right, Justin. We are on the Go Home for Halloween Havoc. Should be a fun show. A trick and not a treat. Perhaps. Oh, yeah, we're almost, we're almost, I wonder what everyone's going to dress up as. A, as no, a uh, what are you thinking? What should we dress up as? Can I go as you? Yeah. Cool, right on. You want to know why? Why? Because that'll be the closest you ever get to it. Come to the <laughs> okay, award. I hate you. <laughs> shouldn't even have asked. We got our first pre-show match, Justin. Ab- Abaddon and Lil Guido have great chemistry and it showed in their performance. Uh, yeah. This should have been on the main show but maybe next time it will be but yeah. a decent pre-show match Lil Guido defeated Abaddon with a Cilician Crab okay okay well try to contain your enthusiasm <laughs> our next pre-show well, I can, match well, I'd be excited for a guy who left me for you our next pre-show match is Johnny B. Bad oh I got the wrong Johnny you fucking Versus idiot Versus Johnny you Swinger suck. in a shooting star press you suck uh, I got the wrong Johnny okay well here we go. We start the show off, Justin. Na- oh boy. Nash and Hall. You know they talk about how you know Shawn Michaels isn't here tonight. Yeah. You know he's got uh, big obligations. He's got press. He's got to meet. He's got autograph signings, television shows to appear on. You know okay. he's really busy being the world champion. And thank God we've got a champion hmm. that finally is respected. You know, yeah. and, uh, and and Nash and Hall. You know they they they. But, but they talk about their big upcoming six-man street fight against Sting, Rob Van Dam, and Bret Hart. And Sting and Rob Van Dam and Bret Hart, they say, listen, man, like, we're done talking. We don't want to talk anymore. We want to kick your asses and we want to fight. And Justin, so they, they run right down to the ramp and, and they just start brawling. They just start brawling? They just start brawling. Okay. Uh, yeah, there's that. Just in a big brawl to start the show. You seem very excited about this. Oh, uh, yeehaw! <laughs> <laughs> Chad can't put over his own show. So, What's Justin, real quick, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta announce that our uh, women's champion, uh, Manomi Toyota. Yep. She got um, popped for steroids. Yeah, she so did. she is suspended. Yeah, she is. So here's what we're gonna do, Justin. We have two women's fatal four way matches tonight. Okay. The winner of those two matches are going to face off at Halloween Havoc to the, see to be the interim women's champion. And then when Minoru Toyota gets done serving her suspension... What's her name? Min- Minoma Toyota. Minomi Toyota. Yeah, there you go. When Minomi Toyota is done with her suspension, she will then face the interim champion in a champion versus champions match. Yeah. So we have our first four-way match tonight. It was Debbie Malenko versus Tris Stratus versus Queen Charmel versus China. Four women who, you know, are the pillars of, like, our women's division before, you know, we got yeah, China getting some of our new ones. Title shot. And mm. in this match, Debbie Malenko defeated Trish Stratus, Queen Charmel, and China when Debbie Malenko submitted Queen Charmel. Didn't you just learn that Toyota getting popped? You shouldn't reward China, so, who also just got popped. Well, she didn't popped. win. Yeah, but she shouldn't even be in the match. Well, she didn't win, and that's important. Should have put Mariko y- Yoshida so, in. Well, you don't know the rest of the matches, Justin. Mm. And we are backstage, and Hulk Hogan still working out, and uh, he sees he sees Canyon, who's holding his head. You know, Canyon's he, Hulk. He's like, "What's wrong, brother?" He's like, oh, "I don't know. I just I've been getting these really weird head head pains. It's like, and, and I've been blacking out. It's like it's like there's just like one day out of the week I'm just like not even present for. I don't know what's going on." Okay. And Hogan's like, "That's weird, brother. Hey, uh, I got something that could help take your mind off of your head pain. What's what's that, Hulk?" How about you fight me tonight in the main event? Hulk Hogan versus Chris Canyon, brother. You know, I've been training. Have you seen every week? I've been lifting weights. Bro just says he's got a head injury. I've been training. Get me in the ring with you, brother. And Chris Canyon, he says, Hogan, uh, uh, you know what? Sure. You know what? Whatever. Hulk, I will see you in the ring tonight. Hell yeah, brother. And what you gonna, yeah, what you gonna do? I get it. Thanks. Go, go, go sign some more autographs. So we got Hulk Hogan versus Canyon tonight. Oh, man. <laughs> we, are, we come backstage. Ahmed, he's telling his stablemates in Planet Ahmed, 
This is our last shot, all right? This is our last shot to get our stable back on track, and I'm telling you, I'm telling you right now, all right? If any of you blow this opportunity, it won't be good. Now, I've been trying to think about which one of us we're going to team up to take on the Dudley boys at the pay-per-view, and I can't think of any way better. I have randomly divided us up, and we're going to face each other tonight in a friendly tag team match, and the winning tag team is going to face the Dudleys. Well, I know who's losing. So it's going to be me and Monty Brown taking on Big Daddy V and D'Lo Brown. It should be the Browns, Monty and D'Lo. And Justin, in a decent match, Ahmed and Monty Brown defeat Big Daddy V and D'Lo Brown when Monty Brown pinned D'Lo Brown with a pounce. So Ahmed and Monty Brown will take on the Dudley boys at the pay-per-view. Big Daddy V, man. Former tag, two-time tag champ. Getting a fucking so. job down to Monty Brown. And Justin, Jeremy Maybe Borash is here. In a while. Yes, Jeremy Borash gathered out the, the, the tough enough people on Nitro to announce. So last week we had a six, uh, last month we had a six man match. Now, that was an elimination match, and Chris Harris won immunity. So he will not be participating in this match. But we've been having you guys wrestle matches, you know, but we want to test your diversity. And that's why. We want to check your, your not, not your not your diversity, your flexibility, and your ability to wrestle matches that aren't just, you know, your your standard pinfall match. We want to check your diversity. Yeah, your your flexibility, Good your Lord. ability to wrestle multiple face? matches. I did. I had to. I was like, what did I say? So that's why, in a Halloween Havoc fashion, we are gonna have the uh, everyone besides Chris Harris compete in a ladder match. Okay. The winner of the ladder match will get to personally eliminate one member of the Tough Enough competition. Mm. It's a big stakes. Well, as Chris, we're, so Chris Harris is a, out of that? Yeah, he's safe. He can't compete, but he can't he, he can't he can't he Why can't he can't, can't be eliminated. Compete? Well, cuz he's he, listen, you can't you can't compete. If you can't if you're not for immunity, if you if you're not for elimination, you can't compete. Yeah, but Chris Harris gets to watch. Scope out, scope out his competition. Yeah, but I feel like Chris Harris could get that as well and not only be immune because yeah, well, he won the match, but eliminate someone as well. Well, you would think that, but that is yeah, not would. the case. It doesn't, doesn't make sense. <laughs> you that he's would not think in that, it. but it is not the he case. He could be in it and still not be eliminated. Speaking of people who are in it and not eliminated and climbed a, a ladder at some point, uh, Minoru Suzuki, Mr. Money in the Bank, with his new faction with Taka and Taz called Suzuki Gun. Yep. Taking on the Headbangers and Al Snow in a decent match. Suzuki Gun pinned. Well, yeah, so Suzu- wins when Suzuki pins Al Snow. Mm. So I got 76, Justin. Yeah. Look at there that. There you go. Good there old go. win for the Suzuki Gun. And we've got our second four way match Beth Phoenix versus Kitty Suzuki versus Jeff Moore versus Takako Ino. And then about that decent wrestling and little heat, Takako Ino defeated Kitty Suzuki, Jeff Moore, and Beth Phoenix when Takako Ino pinned Kitty Suzuki with the Yurikin. Yeah, let's go. And the announcers announced that at Halloween Havoc, we will have Debbie Wait, Malenko. You just, you, I told you Mariko Yoshida wasn't going to be in this. Yeah, I know. <laughs> the announcers announced that at Halloween Havoc, Debbie Malenko will take on Takako Ino for the interim WCW Women's Championship. Justin, any predictions on who you think is going to win that? Uh, probably Takako. You think Takako? Oh. Interesting. Oh. Yeah. We have uh, six hanging God, out. I thought that was a fucking raven, not road dog. <laughs> we have a si- sick picture of him. <laughs> we have sick, sick in a meaning like I wish he could go to the hospital. <laughs> he, he looks, looks malnourished. Ill. He looks <laughs> ill and pale. We have six Kip James and Road Dog all hanging out. Uh, they're playing. They're playing. Sorry, uh, Road Dog looks up and says, "Wow, they made this look way more fun on their show." <laughs> they're <laughs> Sorry. Um, and while they're playing that, um, um, uh, Kip James draws a card, and as he picks it up, you hear "Sorry," and they turn around, and it was Sting Justin who yelled oh. "Sorry" as Sting, Bret Hart, that? and Rob Van Dam uh, run backstage and beat down these three, perhaps taking them out so they can't interfere in the match at the Halloween Havoc. Who knows? You're taking them out. Six days early? <laughs> They're <laughs> brawl brawling. <laughs> They're fall brawling? They're fall brawling. Six looks lost out there. He, th- he legitimately thought we were playing a game. Bro's <laughs> high as fuck. And our co-main event. 
Chris Benoit having another open challenge. He's been doing this because no one has been able to give him a, a challenge. And about that superb wrestling and great heat, Chris Benoit defeated Shane Douglas with a dragon suplex. And Chris Benoit makes defense number 13 of the WCW United States heavyweight title. There you go. And our main event got a 90. And an exceptional match. Fuck Canyon it, defeats Hulk Hogan. Canyon over, over, over Hogan. 957 by pinfall. Oh, I bet Hogan was not happy about that. He wasn't. But <laughs> that's okay. Okay. All right. That's a, that's a show. Got a 90. Not as good as wrong. Got a 90. Not as good as wrong. Yep. Yeah, I got a 90. All right, Chen, move over. Scoot your butt. I almost just. Let me, let me end the recording first. We will see you for SmackDown. And we are here on SmackDown. Not a go home for SmackDown, but a SmackDown one nonetheless. The, one of the yeah, yes, yes just yes. a red, just another average, everyday SmackDown. Average. Yeah, just another average SmackDown. Average. Yeah. To be fair, your average SmackDown is pretty good. So it's better than your shows, <laughs> right? Huh. Let's get into it, Chad. Tell me about this one. Run uh, me down. It's the Super Dolphin versus Volandor Jr. And had, what was uh, his name? Super Dolphin. No, the other guy. Volandor Jr. Volandor? Volandor. I'm saying I'm wrong on purpose. Yeah. But yeah, they fought in a pre-show. There you uh, go, and buddy. Super Dolphin won with a flying senton. Fucking buffoon. Buffoon? What about, and then Chris Daniels comes out. Yeah, the Who won the Reaper. Match? Hey, man. Who won? Uh, My head hurts. I think I think Super Dolphin. Won. Good lord, this is we have we've been we've been recording for maybe twelve straight hours. Yeah. On and off. On and off. We've been taking breaks playing video games. <sighs> We're almost done though. I think go home, brother. And then this match happened too. Chia, 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 Chia. You look here, Chia, <laughs> Chia Prongle. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I reckon. You ever watch uh, what was the the Storage Wars? Where Story, they go? Uh, yep. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I feel like I can put a. a a dip in right there, yo. <laughs> Pooey. Octagon versus you Yoshi. Spin on my hand. You spin on my hand. Good. All right. Let's. Oh, we start off Friday Night SmackDown with a visual of the baby dump bouncer. And Perry Saturn picks it up and throws it away. He's back, baby. He's back. He can fuck again. Oh. <laughs> and will he soon? <laughs> will he soon? Well, fun. He'll, he'll be back in action next week, everybody. Everybody, please, t- tune in next week. Perry Saturn is back. Nice. I like Perry Saturn. Me too. Why'd you let go of him? I don't know. I do a lot of dumb things, Justin. Remember Del Santo? <sighs> Rhino defeats Test in 801. like a genius thing in hindsight since he went to go run for president. Yeah, but I mean, you can still sign him afterwards, too. That was huge. That's huge because I would have re-signed him for a long time and... You would have never seen him again, but now when he comes back, you can grab him. Mm-hmm. We'll have, to have a bidding war for El Hio Del Santo, sure. so he can do absolutely nothing again in WCW. Yeah. You know anyway, Rhino was a test. Rhino beats Test in 801, Chad. With a pile driver. The pile driver. Sick. And a big win for Rhino. He's been dealing with TTT the last couple of weeks, and he's got to deal with him again because they beat down Rhino this week. Ooh. Travis Tomko. Well, the, the numbers game has finally gotten to Rhino. Okay. Who's gonna help Rhino? Who's gonna help Rhino? I'm sure. I'm sure. He'll not Re- not not Rene Dupree. Rene yeah. Dupree's he's he's making his way in the ring, and he's doing the French tickler. He's got the international title on his and and his, and his on his shoulder, and he says he's gonna have a you know any any willing participant can come down here and get in the ring and fight for the international championship, Chad. Ooh, who is gonna be it? Uh, who knows? C.W. Anderson. Oh, C.W. Anderson. An 82 win our segment. A uh, Rene Dupree, though, gets the big win over C.W. Anderson in 1352. Kick and go. <sighs> Sorry, it's a little late. Not kick and go. Uh, Chad's yawning. Yeah. This is disrespectful. Getting late. It's four in the morning, brother. Rene Dupree uh, sees C.W. Anderson put out his arm, put out his hand for it. And, uh, Does he shake it back? He puts out his hand for a handshake. And Renee spits in his hand. <laughs> Ew, in his hand? And in, in CW's hand. Oh, and then says, put her there. He actually spits in his own hand and shakes his hand. There we go. That's and then does the French tickler. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wee oui, wee, oui, a French fucker. <laughs> what do you know about fucking in French? Never done it. Clyde Flanders. Fucking. In... <sighs> Sorry, go ahead. 
You done? Yeah, I'm done. Are you done yet, Chad? I'm done. I will tickle you. Don't tickle me. I'm hot and sweaty. I'm hot and sweaty. Clyde Flanders and Scott Steiner are getting ready. They're in their debut tag match up next, Chad. Ooh. Clyde and Scott. Clyde and Scott. Yeah. They're taking on... Oh, my God. They damaged... They damaged his eye. <laughs> they damaged his eye. God said, I'll make sure this guy never fucking sees again. What the fuck is a Wolfie D? What the fuck is a Wolfie D? JC, I more like JC, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Uh, yeah, big win for Klein and Scott. Do they have a big pose down afterwards? These, yeah, they're two. I feel like they're in their twins, Chad. They're both muscular men with glasses, and they they really get each other. I'd be really funny if Clyde Flanders came out wearing chainmail headgear. Well, give it some time. <laughs> give it some time. Big win for Klein and Scott over uh, JC Ice. <laughs> Thanks, Terry Taylor. <laughs> John's John's God, a hundred good fucking. Good Lord, John Cena. Look at that. He says, uh, you know, he's honored. Well, this is uh, this is John Cena. He's going to a, he's at a military base tonight, right? In Upper Ooh. New York. He's with the troops tonight. Interesting. The United States champion. He's with the troops. Interesting. And they're all saying, fuck Booker T. Fuck <laughs> Booker T. Fuck DDP. Fuck DDP. And they all got pipes. <laughs> they all got pipes. John Cena is an American hero. He is. Speaking of American heroes, Johnny Storm takes on Kane here and loses in 750 by via choke slam. Interesting. What do you mean interesting? What's interesting about this match, Jen? Which is interesting. Do you like Johnny Storm? He's okay. Do you like Kane? Yes. Well, yes. Ooh. I rated Latin Lover on sex appeal in this. I got a 99. He, he is a sexy... He's a sexy man. He's a sexy boy. Oh, Latin Lover. What are you doing? Don't do that. Ew. <laughs> we have gone off the hinges. Monday Night Wars after dark. Um, yeah, Good Eddie, heavens. Well, and remember last week, it was announced that it will be Eddie and Latin taking on La Resistance in a yeah. tag team title match, so they're getting ready, Chad. And that match is happening right here. Ooh, 85. No Rene Dupree this time. It's Sylvan and Rob in the match tonight. Interesting. And Eddie Guerrero and the Latin Lover defend their belts again, though. When Eddie taps out Sylvan Garnier with the, the Gory Special, he taps out the pre-show champion. Interesting. I hate... you got to stop saying interesting oh, before uh, I stab you. <laughs> in, interesting. Big win for Eddie and Latin Lover, yeah, really? Big, big win. Rob big Con- sensual win from the big sexy Latin Lover. Uh, Rob Conway was the weak link. Anyone would be the weak link when you're with in, in, uh, across the ring from the Latin, Latin lover. lover. Good Lord, my knees would be buckling. <laughs> my knees I'd weak. Let him, arms are I, heavy. I would let him pin me. Mom's spaghetti. Stone Cold is getting ready backstage, Chad. It is Stone Cold Paul White World Heavyweight Championship on the line tonight. This guy's getting ready. Ooh. Eric Bischoff. What the fuck was Eric Bischoff here to announce? He's scribbling. Oh, <laughs> he's just. I just want to show everybody the picture I drew. The 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 picture uh, he is now hung up on his wall is a poorly drawn uh, lion, New Japan lion, uh, with a big X in the middle. It said "fuck you." Uh, he now I think he's finally figured out that New Japan does not like him in his drawings, and um, but he is also and he says we will be soon finding out. Who the SmackDown captain? He's looking out for the SmackDown captain for Survivor Series next month. And he's looking forward to naming that captain. And then Jeff Jarrett comes back. He's back from Torch Head. Oh. Jeff Jarrett. He did a he did a two week run in uh that was quicker than Sean Jer- Chris Jericho's tour. Because Jeff Jarrett is he, he understands his fans. Hmm. Chris Jericho doesn't have any. Yeah, that's not true. Well, does he have a Grammy? Just Jeff Jeff Jeff, yeah, he has one for Dixie. Oh, best okay. rock song. Oh, or best okay. gospel song, remember? Okay, yeah. Oh, like a slammy. Dixie. Oh. And the gospel, the choir comes in, and then the Lord above us comes down, hmm. and Dixie goes around town, is what the. the <laughs> Dixie goes around <laughs> town. Dixie, Jeff Jarrett. Jeff Jarrett answers, he's like, oh, I'm back from tour, Eric, but I heard, overheard you when I was before I entered the room. That you're trying to uh, trying to get a new SmackDown champion or a new SmackDown uh, captain for Survivor season. There's no better choice than the man, the Grammy nominated and and winning superstar Jeff Jarrett. 
I mean, we could make a whole song about this. Good. And Eric Bischoff says, well, we could. You're right. You're right. But, you know, I, I don't want to just give it to someone. Someone else also, uh, you know, I just got a text right now. Uh, someone else wants in that match, too. They want to fight for the, the captaincy as well. So how about you get to the ring, Jeff Jarrett? And if you can win, you can be the captain. But if you lose, that guy will be the captain, and you might not have a spot on this team. Ooh. Ooh. Who's it going to be? Jeff Jarrett makes his way down to the ring. Chad, this is for the captaincy of Friday Night Smackdown at Survivor Series. His name, Mystico. Mystico. And Mystica wins in 707 with a 619. Rey Mysterio's move. Ah, gimmick infringement. Nice. <laughs> Mystico is your new, will be the SmackDown um, team captain, Chad. How do you feel about that? I love it. He said he was a heavyweight and he's proving himself here. You got to come out with a blue mask for the blue brand? No. He's oh. got a ga uh, gale stimmick. Oh my goodness. He's, he's, got, got, a a he's got a stale gimmick. He's got a gale stimmick. <laughs> Mystico on the top rope, celebrating. Is that German for big boot? And the camera doesn't catch someone entering uh, from uh, the ramp and uh, pushes Mystico from the top rope all the way outside through the announce table. Oh, God. I had pushed him far. Psychosis is back. Oh. What? Ooh, without a mask. He has lost his damn mind. He just stands over. He's like... <sighs> over poor Mystico's... Body who went through the announce table. I love that picture. It looks so mean. He's, well, he just pushed Mystical yeah. from the top rope in the ring through announce table. And here we go, Chen. Main event time. Paul White, Steve Austin, world title on the line here on a Friday night. Smackdown. Oh, my God. I love it. Who wins? I think Steve Austin wins. Yeah, let's go on. 99. Uh, Stone Cold wins and taps him out. What a bitch Paul White is. What a bitch Paul White is. Stone Cold makes this defense number one and now is happy. And now I, I'm happy. What? But this means, this probably means that it will be Stone Cold versus the Raw champion, whoever it could be at Survivor Series. Ooh. Could it be Kishi? Could it be Brock Lesnar? Could it be Kurt Angle? Ooh. Stone Cold versus Brock? Kurt Angle or Kenshi. Yeah. It might be Rene Dupree. Ooh. Steve Austin versus Rikishi. <laughs> That's a match. That is a match. We'll see you for Nitro. Yes. Uh, Thunder, uh, let's finish the show first. Again, a name. 96. What can I say? What can I say, Chad? 96. What? Do you even know what that number looks like? <laughs> yeah, I'm looking at it right now. Yeah, but look at it on your show. Okay. <laughs> we'll see you for Thunder. All right, Justin, we are here, the final go-home before Judgment Day and Halloween Havoc. Justin, are you ready yes, for sir. Thunder? All right, we're just going to, you know what, we're just going to jump right into now, let's it. Let's get through this show. Good <laughs> we God. Got, this we are. Chris Benoit, this was supposed to be Chris Jericho. <laughs> uh, Chris Benoit shows up, and everyone's like, what's Chris Benoit That's doing Chris here? Harris. I know, it's supposed to be Chris Jericho. Uh, you suck. I know. Chris Benoit shows up, and uh, he says, you know... I, uh, I I wanted to let everyone know that I'm having an open challenge at Halloween Havoc. He has an open challenge every week. Every week, but I'm I'm opening it up to people on Thunder because I've ran through everyone on Nitro mm. and I'm running out of competition. So that's why Chris Harris is here. And Chris Jericho was gonna be here, and Chris Jericho was going to say, "Well, you know, Chris Benoit, since you're here tonight, I could use a little tune-up before my big match against Goldberg. So why don't we face tonight in a non-title match?" And you're really trying to get the best show of the week, aren't you? And then Chris you're Benoit really trying, said, Chris Benoit said, you're in. So Chris Bust Harris Chris Harris was just here to remind everybody about the big ladder match, too. He said, oh, by the way, Benoit, while you're here, are you going to watch the, are you gonna watch the tough, enough, tough Enough Ladder match? I'm not in it, but you should watch it. Justin, we've got a tag team match. Mike and Mike versus Abyss and Mortis. And it's a match. Abyss and Mortis defeat Mike and Mike when a Mortis pinned Mike Quackenbush with a super kick. Damn, Mortis... And after yes. the match, Justin, they're celebrating. And then Matt and Jeff Hardy, they come out because they've both single-handedly taken out Matt and then taken out Jeff. So now they are reunited oh. Oh, okay. to fight Abyss and Mortis. Yeah. Justin, we've got this match, and the winner of this match faces Juventud. The Halloween Havoc for the Cruiserweight title. Great Sasuke was unsuccessful last week. He wants another opportunity. And here he gets it. So he gets it. And he <laughs> pinned Dragon Kid with a Thunder Fire Power Bomb, Justin. Yeah. So 
we get a rematch yeah. as a pay-per-view. But then after the match, who would do Guerrero gets in the ring? And uh, he goes for a handshake of Grace Sasuke. Grace Sasuke, he's like... Did Huvitu, you just say Huvitu went for a handshake? Yeah. Why? And then as soon as Grace Sasuke is looking at him, Huvitu's laughing. Mm. And then was like, smart. And then just slaps Grace Sasuke right in the face. And then Grace Sasuke goes to go like, for a roundhouse kick. Huvitu rolls out of the ring. Mm. So, Huvitu, you know, he's a... He's a bitch. He's a, he's a cheeky, cheeky bastard. Justin, we've got 24-7 shenanigans out here, Justin. Uh, and a decent match. Lodi defeated Bobby Roode, Eric Young, Lash LaRue, and Evan Courageous. When Lodi pinned Lash LaRue, everyone swarmed the ring as Lodi was in there. It was a big kerfuffle. But Lodi pinned Lash LaRue and then takes the 24-7 title and books it away with Shark Boy. Ah. Yes. Okay. We've got a six-man tag team oh, match, no. Justin. The heels, Ken Shamrock and Shane Helms and AJ Styles. With Rey Mysterio, Moore. Raven, and a returning Shannon Moore. Mm. Who looks bigger because he put on muscle while he was gone. Ah. Yeah. So what is I would too after getting embarrassed by Goldberg. Yeah, exactly. And on a good match, AJ, Shane Helms, and Ken Shamrock defeated Raven, uh, Rey Mysterio, and Shannon Moore. Oh, when AJ pinned Shannon Moore. I let the game decide this, that's and uh, AJ pinned Shannon that's Moore. That's on you. That is on me. Oh, and then Ken Shamrock had a bruised tailbone, so mm-hmm. thank you, Jeremy Borash. Why Shane Holmes? We got Samoa Joe versus Stardust, Justin. And in a super match, Stardust defeated Samoa Joe using a foreign object. Okay. He used some brass knuckles on Samoa Joe. Samoa Joe is going down the drain. Remember when he was the most dominant and feared superstar in Thunder? Yeah, when they took brass knuckles to beat Samoa Joe. Last he couldn't just do it straight up. Lost last week clean, Couldn't too. beat him clean. Lost last week clean, too. Yeah, but who did he lose last week to clean? But couldn't tell you. Benoit, maybe? Or was it Benoit? No, it was not Benoit. It was Jericho. Yeah. My point. And speaking of Jericho... Oh, wow, you fucked this up, <laughs> didn't you? This should have been 100. I did a sports entertainment finish. That's why. Uh, and an exceptional match. Benoit drew with Jericho. And the match descended into chaos after Goldberg got involved. Oh. Yes, Goldberg speared Jericho. As we just that, saw that here. A, good Lord. You zoom through this. Are you <laughs> all right? 83. This recording's four minutes long. I, I didn't even mean to go through it. It just happened. Listen. I could. I was going to... The, the promo pissed me off with Benoit and Jericho. It was supposed to be Barry, but it was Harris. Yeah. So probably would have been a little bit longer if I would have actually done that promo. But That's I got true. mad, so I skipped it. But That's true. This is it. Justin, with the time we have left, you want me to go over the... Tough into the Halloween Havoc card, or do you want to just say no? We'll get we'll get to it when we get there. All right. Goodbye, everyone. Happy Halloween.